Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. We're joined by our special guests, Bree and Eric. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Pierre, take away. Is this a, is this one of our biggest cast of characters on a Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers? Yeah, I think the most we've ever had before is four. We might have five. We've we had, had five, five last four, week. Right? We've had five last week. Hmm. Did we? All right. Mm -hmm. Were you guys ready to get started here? No, we didn't. We had four. We had four, so. we had four last week. Yeah, we had four. My mistake. Yeah, because I wasn't here. Yeah. But uh, either way, let's get started. I was here in spirit, though. Yeah. What oh. the? <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Okay, so I didn't know that Leo <laughs> had set up like this. So let me explain myself. Because actually, Jason, after our... Um, recent live that we just did i put on an nfl cap just for you because i knew that this was going to come up and the only reason that i picked this as my weeper is because i don't like the coloring of the logo on the front okay um, if I'll, it I'll, has any different i like the collection itself but i do not like the coloring on the Patriot here. Stand so. your ground, Bree. I hope you didn't go and buy. I hope you didn't go and buy a hat just for this because you were gone no. for an awfully long time. Like, did you go like <laughs> you go to a friend's house and borrow their NFL hat? No, I have a couple NFL hats. So I I pulled one out specifically for Jason so that he would know that I have a love for NFL hats. It's just <laughs> a specific one. It, I I didn't like it, so it's my weeper this week. Uh, Did uh, his tirade uh, scare you at all earlier, Bree? <laughs> no, no, because I, I actually sort of kind of get where he's coming from about. Yeah, you've seen, you've seen angry middle aged white men before, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably way more than I have. <laughs> but I, 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 I understand where he's coming from as far as people don't want to branch out and try something different, which I think there's a ton of great hats out there, some of them being NFL hats. But because the collection, the Just Cap drop where it was like the off-white and the mm -hmm, color mm -hmm. bill, I think those were great hats. Me personally, I like the orange in this collection, but I did not like the coloring of the Patriot on this particular hat. So that's why it was my weakness. Yeah, yeah. They, they did not You know not what, do listen, good... it does look, it's borderline inappropriate. Yes. Yeah, that I didn't want to say that, but that's where I was really. You can say that. Nah, it looks, I'll say it. It looks like it could be, it looks like blackface. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they did a poor job on, on this particular hat. I will I will agree with that. Yeah. But this, this collection overall should have thought this one out a little bit. Yep. But this collection overall I thought was really, really well done for NFL custom hats. I thought so too, but I'm with you on this one, Bree. And mm -hmm. I'm a Patriots fan. The reason why I wouldn't pick it up, and I didn't want to say it on this week in caps was because of that very that very reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta be careful, especially in today's day and age. Like you really get multiple eyes on this before you uh release it out into the mm -hmm. wild. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Not for sure. All right. Well, nice choice, Bree. And I love how you sidestepped uh, the angry middle-aged white man who was about to blow up. If you, if you, you got really prepared. You went digging in the crates for an NFL hat. You were ready, man. You were ready to go. I, I, I appreciate like, it, Bree. Way, way to bring my blood pressure down. You know what's funny about it? She was saying, oh, I'll be right there, guys. I, I've just got to walk my dog. She was actually feverishly digging through hats looking for an NFL yeah, hat. Yeah. And, and she's trying to come up with – Oh shit! I gave I gave Leon this one as a weeper, and, and Jason just went off on the entire crowd. How am I going to explain? I'm going to go back. I got to go back <laughs> to this week in caps. I'll watch the her face as you were going on that tirade. Right. I want to see like what her <laughs> yeah. yeah the look of processing. All right, cool. I knew this All was right, going to be good. Who's up next? Sticking with what the oh. NFL. <laughs> <laughs> And it's also tying back uh, to Brie because I know you just said that you kind of feel the For You won um, the collection a bit better. I Just look at the logo. It's all mashed together. You can barely distinguish what it really looks like. I, I love off-white, so I'm down with NFL hats. I just feel like it looks like a blob. It doesn't really look like a bear at all. At least put some white in the eyes. You know what's interesting about this whole thing, too, as I'm watching this, I'm looking at you, looking at Jason, and I'm looking at your picture in the upper right-hand corner. <laughs> it's like you're looking back at Jason and just saying, man, I don't like this hat. Like, like look, at, look at him. Look at him. Yeah. It's a great picture. All right. 
Nice choice. Uh, nice choice, Eric. Who's up next? Um, so so three in a row? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're just picking on. Um, we're piling up. J- yeah, Jason's yeah. love of uh, NFL hats. And I, I went with the Raiders one this time. Um, I think this is a program hat. I saw it at one it store. Is. It, it is a program um, hat. I, I'm expecting to see it at more. Mm-hmm. I, it, I don't know, man. You already have the extra embroidery hits on the front. Like, let, let's slap on three on the bottom. And for me, like, this kind of stuff is just the most egregious when it's just like the cookie cutter. Let's do the bullshit. Like, all right, well, we'll take the state and then we'll, we'll change the number and then we'll, we'll use the same font and we'll just change the name. Like, I don't know. I just think of it as just really lazy work. Um, yeah. It used to be cool five years ago, but like I think we've kind of evolved. Past I don't that. think it ever was cool. Yeah, we used to we think just, it was we, cool five five we, years ago. We used to. Think we just didn't have any there. other op- op- options five years ago. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I certainly dabbled in this world four years ago with all the four or five years ago, all the embroidery hits, all that stuff. I thought they were really nice. As a matter yeah. of fact, I was making bootlegs left and right with Leon in some cases. Allegedly. Um, that, that looked like this. <laughs> and like, you know, listen, I really enjoyed them, but they, they've run their course. Yeah. They've run their course. Yeah. So we're kind of over it. So, um, yeah, do better. Oh, God damn it. What the uh, fuck? Where, where'd you find these things? Four four slides in a row with NFL hats. What the hell? But uh, <laughs> now, um, yeah, 1995 called. They want their idea back. Um, why tie dye? And and the most egregious of these, by far, you hate those. Great. You hate those hippies, right, Jason? You hate those hippies. Hate, the, hate those hippies. Um, is the uh, Kansas City Monarchs? Like, you don't. It's just a, almost offensive to me. Like. Have a little respect, but yeah. I, I don't know. Tie dye rally house needs to to rally some designers and, and figure some shit out because literally they have hundreds of stores. They could bury a lot of these other store uh, little little stores with their uh, buying power, but oh, yeah, they, they refuse to they they refuse to like do anything about it. So. I want Rally House to do better because I actually have one in the mall right down the street. But I don't go. No, you're right. They're combined, they're combined buying powers like that of like a you know like a pro image or whatever. I mean, right, right. And, yeah. and yeah, nah, nice I, choice, I, Jason. Me, go ahead. I just don't even go in the store because I know they'll have shit like this. Like it's not even worth my time. People are buying this stuff, I'm sure, but yeah, I mean, I, like this, I see an optical illusion. Mm-hmm. This is just make them disappear. My weepers. I I picked this weeper before, um, uh, you know, before uh, um, Pat unveiled via using the vault (laughs) Instagram, the new one. But I got to tell you, man, the bison is almost dead. If it's not John Jay and uh, and second to John Jay, uh, Pat. You know, John Jay was really the one that brought this to the forefront, but Pat has done a fantastic job with it as well. If it's not one of them, it's dead to me. It's just dead. Uh, I mean, I'm watching. Everyone's getting a turn, man, and it's like it's not fun to watch. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's like just this is like you have to be really good at what you do from a creative Mm -hmm. standpoint to make this right. You know, if you you can just tell when someone who doesn't know what they're doing tries to do a Bison's logo, you can tell. I thought For You Cap did a really good job, but it was just a sliding Bison. It was like, a not the logo. Bison. Yeah, yeah, it's just a sliding Bison, right? So it's like, like the dabble in this world with all the color stops, and then uh, it's just too much, man. You got to know what you're doing, man. This is like you're getting into like advanced trigonometry, but you only know how to add. Right. It's like, just stop. And I think it's sad to watch something that I think was an iconic logo in this resurgence of fitted hats. It's like really been like nothing we've ever seen. And, you know, now it's just everybody's getting a turn and man, boy, are they making it look bad. 
And, you know, it's sad, but there's still going to be some good ones out there. But I think my weeper of the week is everyone getting a turn with the bison. Um, I don't like it. That's my weeper of the week. They've uh, they've designed it to almost extinction. <laughs> it's hunted to extinction. It's crazy, too, because for a long time, there was only a couple stores that would play with it. And then mm-hmm. we kind of always wondered to ourselves, like, you know, it's kind of weird that no other stores are doing it. And then all of a sudden, all of them just ban. Well, there's there's 27 different colors in this logo. If you don't, well, and that's, if you, if you don't know how John to color Jay makes it, it look easy, right? John right? Jay makes it look easy. So does Pat. That's the reality. It's not easy. It's not easy. No, and their reps too. Like let's not let's not yeah, forget about yeah, the reps. Yeah, yeah. The reps are playing a huge part in all this. But if you have some rookie try to take this thing and try to try to make mm. something special with it, you're seeing what's happening. I just saw one that's like one color. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah. yes, the avatar it's one, like, the blue one. Yeah, it's, it, dude, that's not. I I, mean, I appreciate. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to rain on anybody's yeah. parade because I know how exciting it is. When I even when I made my first fitted with a with a store, right? It's really exciting and it's fun mm-hmm. and it makes you feel good and stuff. So I don't want to rain on anybody's parade, but I, I, I certainly I'm also not gonna lie and say something's great when it's not. I mean right. there's certain things that you should play with. Like it's just too much. Like try something different, you know? Try something that's not already been done and, and something that's within your with within the realm of possibility or your abilities. Like just mm-hmm. stay there and then work your way up, right? I didn't try a bison's hat on my own because I don't I, want I don't, it. I don't know if I ever will. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't want to. It's too much, right. man. It's too complicated yep. for me. I don't want to even try to think about it. So, and that's just me. That's me saying that. And I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a dumb guy. I just don't want to do it. So that's my weeper mm-hmm. of the week. We can move on here to our uh, sleepers. So uh, my sleeper of the week um, would be the. Liz HD Lights Out collection. There's still quite a few sizes in those hats out there. Um, I picked this specific one, the Cardinals, because I thought it was pretty clean. But as someone who is, I guess, starting into year two of collecting, if you just wanted to, like, get some hats, um, clean hats to get you started off, I feel like these were some really good hats to pick a a good few out of to um, get you started for sure. Mm. Good. Listen, that's a good hat to depict as a sleeper too. That's a nice, clean one from that pack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure this hat's probably been done in very similar manner um, elsewhere, but it's just a, overall when it's a team colors. Looks like there's some metallics in there. It's off white. It's a good green. It's just gonna work for me. It's a full size run. I think it's Frank Street Sports, uh, not Clark Street, but um, another smaller shop. So. Um, yeah, definitely think I could wear this it, one. It was Frank Sportswear. Frank Sportswear. Yeah. And uh, do you know where this one, this one was originally made? Like this? <laughs> yeah, this is this is a, a John Jay design. Yeah, my yeah. yeah, off white. Too. Yeah, it it did definitely didn't sleep on my fitteds. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great hat, and I can see. There's a handful of John Jay creations that were released by other stores this week that are very sought after, but we're sitting on their sites because I guess maybe people don't know the connect whatever the case may be yeah but. yeah yeah this is definitely one of them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. nice Good choice thing. eric nice choice mm-hmm. so wait let's tell everyone the store though again what is it again it's frank's sportswear they're based in chicago yeah they, so they, they 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 dabble in the uh the re re-releasing of of hats that's all right like some yeah. people are listening right now if you missed on this with my fizz go over there and grab it mm-hmm. yeah they definitely picked a good one to, yeah, uh, John Jay's not going back to make this again. Go buy it then. Yeah. All right. So this. What the um, fuck? Come hey, on, hey. Leon. Guys, <laughs> relax. Do you, are you? Do you spell Weeper wrong on this one? All right. Well, can can I explain? <laughs> yes, you may. Yes, you may. Because <laughs> y- y'all gonna feel like like uh, assholes after. So I, Leon, I, know, I know the reason behind these hats. So. All right, Bree. Thank you, Bree. Um, but this is, uh, I believe they were supposed to arrive in May. So May is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, right? Mm-hmm. So these were a collaboration with a world-renowned therapist, Alfonso Nathan. 50% of the profits from the sales will be donated to um, a charity called uh, 
um, Black Men Heal. So this is uh, an organization that provides free, accessible therapy and support to men of color. Um, and these hats are only twenty nine dollars. So you're trying to trap us, Leon. Yeah, and you guys <laughs> fell for it. You so said I'm gonna find it. some hats that don't that that have like some vault or, or some color that they always they always get on me about. I'm gonna mm-hmm. find the ones that are linked to a good cause. I'm gonna yeah, trap. I'm gonna let them. them make fun of me. I'm gonna let them make fun of me, and then <laughs> no I'm gonna, I'm not I'm gonna... making fun of you. Saying, "Oh my God, Leon, that's not making fun of you." It's like it's just like it's just what we would expect, like a green mm-hmm. hat. You know, exactly. that's a that's... great cause. But they're twenty nine bucks a piece. Twenty nine bucks a piece, full size run in all four colors. Um, that's good. It's a great cause. Yeah. So, not why the twenty nine dollar price tag though? Um, probably because they were not um, made very well and they didn't sell well, so maybe they had to slash the prices. But um, it is a good cause. Um, the the Cubs one's not bad. I'm I'm considering picking it up, but uh, it's it's a good cause at least. I wonder if they altered though. Listen, this is what this would be my thing is. I wonder if they altered. Because they had to take a price cut, right, to go clearance, I wonder what they're going to do from a profit standpoint. Are they going to give more percent of the profit to to uh, to the cause, or are they going to keep it at 50% of the limited profits they're going to make off these hats now? The description says 50% of the profits of the sales. So, I mean, if they're less profit in this, I'm, I'm assuming it's just whatever. Yeah. They're making less on them, so they're still going to whatever yeah. uh, donate something at least. So the green no. pays – Homage to Mental Health Awareness Month. So that's in May for people who don't know. Well, you know what, Leon, I I'm sorry for uh, for misjudging your judgment here, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't need one of these ugly hats to donate to Black Men Heal. I just so donated go my directly? 20, 25 bucks right now, right directly to them. You're a good human. Um, um, yeah. So go do that, um, and let Snipes keep these things. Put the put the put the link. We'll put the link. Put the link. Put the link in the description of the video, though, so yep. you can still support the cause. But yep. Leon, yep. expert expert trapping on your part. I I, 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 I I'm familiar with the game. You did a fantastic <laughs> job. But also, uh, shout out to Snipes uh, in their attempt uh, to make the world a better place. Now, with that, let's move on to Jason Mead's sleeper of the week. All right. So I know I know a lot of people don't like this logo and it's polarizing, but not polarizing, but you know what I'm trying okay. to say. Um, but I actually love what New York Cap did with this one, and um, they actually uh, this is the first custom uh, we've seen with the City Connect logo, mm-hmm. and this was actually better than the City Connect hat um, that the, the Nationals had. Uh, I love the two tone brown on brown. Uh, with the pink or blush uh, UV, um, just fantastic hat in my opinion, and uh, full size room still sitting there. So um, I'm I'm a huge fan of all the City Connect stuff, and um, I'm glad uh, they they somebody finally did a custom hat with this logo inside patch. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. My sleeper of the week toppers. I know you're all going to get sick of hearing this. I can feel it already. I can, I can <laughs> sense, I can sense the frustration and the disgust from all of our viewers right now. But I'm going to tell you, Leon is going to put the link to the video right up here that teaches you how to ship hats internationally. There are so many good hats sitting, and I'm sick of hearing people say, "Rest in peace, toppers." Toppers is the You can still get hats at the same price. You can get them domestically by applying the methodology that's outlined in the video linked above, Mm -hmm. period. You're getting hats out here, 67, 70 bucks shipped, right? Mm -hmm. You will do better than that or or the same. It's not going to be, it's not going to be more expensive for you. Mm-hmm. If you do the right thing and follow the instructions of the video stops and oh my God, you're going to have to wait three extra days for the hat. Like, let me tell you something. I bought something from hat club a week ago and it's not going to get here until like the day after t- like Monday. Like, so what, what do you, are you just looking for reasons to like 
be in pain and cry and whine. Stop being one of those people that just sits back and whines and cries and go do something about it. You're not yeah. going to lose extra money. You're going to, you're just going to have to dedicate about 25 minutes to figuring out the process. It's not even that long. And, but rather what you'd rather do is whine and say, rest in peace toppers. You probably weren't buying from there anyway. Right. If you're, if you haven't figured this out yet and you're writing all, and you're saying all this stuff like rest in peace toppers or blah, blah, blah. You probably didn't even buy a half from toppers yet. You're just one of those people that just wants to whine and cry. Okay. Stop whining and crying. Go to your computer. Watch the video. Take some notes. You know, take a few notes. Go on the website. Follow the instructions. Set it up. And then you're all set. And then you don't have to whine anymore. It's very simple. And you're not paying extra money. It's just, I just swear that I think some people just want to feel sorry for themselves. It's right? actually. Isn't that, isn't that like what it is? Depending on how many Depending on how many hats you buy, which I know a lot of you watching buy more than one hat a month, it is actually cheaper than buying one hat directly from Toppers and having it shipped to the United States. If you're you, watching this show right now, there's a high likelihood. If you've made it this far, there's a high, <laughs> high likelihood that you buy more than one hat a month. Right. A very high likelihood. All those reshippers over there will hold on to your hats for two weeks a month for free let you consolidate them and then ship them out to you in one package and 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 i get it up to a kilogram is what kills you on shipping once you get beyond that point it's cheap as shit um i just shipped 13 hats dhl four day shipping for like 70 dollars i mean that's when you price price it out, that's a uh, that's almost a quarter of what I was paying toppers before shipping. So it's like it makes a lot of sense. It's easy, um, and, and I'm getting my hats in like three days. That's my sleeper of the week. Stop sleeping on the international shipping. Stop whining and feeling sorry for yourself. Stop going into comments and writing. Oh my god, they don't ship us. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just stop. If you're not willing to do the work, just shut up. Yeah. And for and for you Canadians that keep bitching about new era.com not shipping to you, go set up a fucking reshipper. <laughs> they all have United States addresses. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know why we caught it straight for that, but all right. <laughs> no, no, because every time I post something from New Era Cap, they don't ship I Canada. Know. They don't ship I, it, Canada. It's weird. It's weird. I'm very close. I'm closer to Buffalo than any of you guys I, are. I get it. It's license it's weird. reasons. That's why yeah. they can't cross the border. But all these reshippers have United States addresses. I apologize for all my Canadian brethren. Mm. On behalf of the Queen. Oh, Leon, right. don't start, Leon, don't, <laughs> don't, don't get me started on the Queen again, man. Like, literally... <laughs> Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are drowning, right? Drowning. Yeah. And people are worried about a funeral of uh, this funeral. It, it was mind boggling to me. Of a 96 year old lady. And, like, and you're supposed won't pay. to die at 96. You're supposed to die. That's what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to be, you know, under six feet of water and in your home. Like, you're not, that's not supposed to happen. Okay. But when you're 96, you're supposed to die. Yeah, it's and just, he it, won't pay the inheritance tax. No, so no, he gets because, to inherit yeah, all that. Well, oh, no yeah, loss. that you got to bring blame British Parliament for that one. They changed the the rules in 1993 because they thought she was going to die then. Right. Mm. Well, anyway, <clears throat> keep her from forty caps. <laughs> 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 if you bring that queen up again on this show, you're going to be suspended from the show for a month. <laughs> oh, I got to figure out a way to get. Do not to bring that queen. queen up again. I feel like y'all always have these conversations about her when I'm on, and it just sort of kind of goes like that. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I, I just don't. I I can't. The world is such a mysterious place. People are just odd to me. Like you literally have people suffering, and 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 they're like wondering whether or not, like you know, someone scratched their chin during the during the queen's funeral. Like I don't care. Like the shit going on in Iran right now, and like, like all this stuff that's going on, we're worried about a, a funeral of, of fucking corgis. Honestly, of 
yeah. of a monarchy that we took down. Like, I don't understand. What's the point? Anyway. Hey, Leon, what's your favorite place to get ice cream? Uh, this place no, called- don't say it, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even say Dairy Queen. Uh, <laughs> Trying yeah. to get you suspended. Uh, <laughs> my thought sounds good right about now. But uh, for you caps. For you caps. So um, one of my keepers this week is this Baltimore Orioles from For You Caps. Thought it was a really clean hat. Yeah. Um Really easy to wear with the gray, black, two-tone. Um, I think the patch looks really good. The coloring on the front's nice. Um, kudos to For You Caps. They have really good customer service. I've done business with them a few times. Had to send an email or two in about issues that I created on my own, but they're really responsive and helped. So um, shout out to them. This is a really clean hat. First keeper of the week for me. Nice choice. Yeah, they're a great team over there. <laughs> and my, <laughs> our second keeper of the week ah. is this uh, Minnesota Twins from Hat Club. Um, I know Hat Club has uh, been getting a lot of flack lately for what they've been doing, but I really do think with these particular collections that they released this week, um, specifically the peach, the stone, and this two-tone here, um, was really geared towards the female fitted community and I really appreciate them you know taking the time to try and uh, create a product that isn't just for what their typical mainstream um, customer is Um, this hat is beautiful um, and it's still sitting now um, if anybody was interested in getting it so this is my second keeper for the week this Minnesota Twins here nice choices Bree very good So I know we spoke about this yeah. one a little bit. We were touching on it during um, this week in Caps. So ECAP is five minutes from me. It's actually one of the first stores I ever bought from that we cover back way back in the day. Um, but yeah, man, this hat is, I, I just really like the way the colors all come together. Greens and blues are always good to me. We got a newer patch that you don't um, see too often just yet. I think it has a blue UV. So just something I could really wear in the spring um, you know, going into the fall. So I don't know how much I'd wear it right now. Actually, no. You get it off with the greens and whatnot. So, um, but just a great looking overall hat. So, this is one and of match, my keepers. It matches that lawn chair you're sitting in, too. Yeah, <laughs> the undervisor coordination. And then, um, for my second keeper, we're flipping over to toppers. I just really like the details in this uh, compass. I think it's a, a frosty as well. So, mm-hmm. just good overall clean, nice little bronze hits. I'm actually normally not a fan of the standard compass, but. Just the way the colors were done on this, it's it's definitely um, one of the better hats of the week for me. You prefer the tilted compass? I do. Yeah, I heard that's not. I heard that they're not letting them use it anymore, right? You can't use that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a turn ahead the clock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Logo. All right. Good. Good pick. You uh, blocked Jason from using this one. Yeah. Yeah. I turned in my homework, and and Leon accused me of cheating, so I had to change my answers. <laughs> Cool. I just said, uh, Eric beat you to it. But uh, first keeper of the week comes from USA Cap King. Um, this pinstripe collection uh, was really, really good. It's a minor button violation, but still overall um, a really good collection. This is the first time we've seen uh, this logo kind of out in the wild. It's the uh, City Connect logo. Mm-hmm. That's one kind of, uh, I don't know, unintended um uh, I guess byproduct of the city connect program is that they've been putting new logos uh, into the new air system and what to watch like stores kind of uh, pick at them and use them in different ways is really, really interesting. So this uh, angels for me, uh, easy keeper of the week. Um, I love that logo. From USA Cap King. And my second one, uh, because of all Toronto, um, our uh, big Drake groupies um, comeback season uh, <laughs> still had. Um, I just thought that this was really good timing, um, right in time for a uh, fall to start. Um, you get a, a really cool fall uh, kind of hat. So um, in hindsight, maybe I should have went with the uh, real tree um, one, but a uh, uh, groupie love for, for Drake, I guess, from still. What was Drake doing last Monday? No, 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 no. Don't do it, Leon. He's trying to get you to say it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, Uh, toppers with the gold glove. Um, Texas Rangers for for Pudge. Um, Pat is is a magic worker when it comes to Mm -hmm. Texas Rangers hats. Um, 
I don't know what, what it is, but he absolutely knocks these out of the parks. And um, if I see one comment of like, they don't ship to the United States anymore, <laughs> uh, you're getting blocked from the channel. All right. All right. Fair enough. I'm sticking with toppers. Like, I'm going to beat this horse into the ground. Like, go cop from these guys. Like, it's not that hard. You get gems like this that actually were honestly just sitting for for a while. Um, now's the time to jump on that and, and go pick these things up. Um, it's never been easier than ever to cop off of there. So go do it. Before we move on, I want to ask, is that like a foil metallic? It looks a little different. No, it's, it's like metallic blue. Like a more just blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, metallic blue has a weird look to it. Okay. It's got yeah, depending on the light, can look gray, can look dark blue, light blue. It, it, yeah. So that's why you see that variation in there, but it's all one color. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Speaking all right, my keepers of the week. The first one. <laughs> Jackie Robinson. I mean, this thing is just incredible. It's a it's a perfect hook to those Jackie Robinson dunks. I absolutely love this hat. Um, just a, a beauty, man. This one will never leave the collection, man. This thing um, is most likely never going to go on my head either. Uh, that's how much I like this hat. But uh, this is my first keeper of the week. And my second keeper of the week, I'm staying with my fittest too. Their minor league selection is incredible. Mm -hmm. um it's like no other um i mean <sighs> these are just four i selected but literally you can just pick up any of the minor league hats that he's done with the exception of maybe two or three in the past couple of years that I, that, that i was like eh, i don't know these are just great and you're wearing another you're you know <sighs> yeah you got you gotta you, you gotta give these a shot man it's you know mm -hmm. you talk about like disliking the nfl i i think like a lot of folks dislike uh, minor league baseball hats. They need to stop. I mean, these are great. Mm -hmm. Look at that Rochester hat in the bottom. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. It's beautiful. The Sol Solon's hat, that color is, is, is just perfect, man. It's like that wine red with the green under. It's got a great side patch that looks like it's from the 50s. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just – these are just fantastic, man. I can't say enough about my fitteds and their minor league selection. Um, so it's a clean sweep for my fitteds and my keepers of the week. Um, and that, my friends, draws this show to a close. What a great week, man. We had some great guests. Mm -hmm. We had Eric and Breon again. Um, I, and you guys did a fantastic job today. Um, we had Jose kind of moderating this week in Caps. He did a great job. This was just a great week, man. I look forward to more. But um, with that, I want to thank you all for joining us today. And I also want to thank all our viewers for all the support. Um, I, I do want to say one thing quick. Um, we do need to plan a, a trip to uh, uh, Jamaica Avenue to do another vlog sometime. Eric and Jose can come with us. But I, for, I keep forgetting. Hey, Leon, what, what borough is uh, Jamaica Avenue in? The thoroughest borough. Um, the one that gets the money. Oh. Mm. Can, what's the name of it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> No, uh, okay. You're not uh, gonna say. I don't think he's gonna say. It. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna trip Leon up that easily. He like mm. this is prime time for Leon. Like you and I are getting tired now. Mm. This mm. is not. This is when Leon's at his sharpest. Yeah, yeah. Get, I'm big uh, two more hours of editing and uploading after though. He's I'm like a, a nocturnal fan. jungle cat. You know, like he's mm. just like he's he's up. He's ready. Look at him. He's ready to pounce on some prey. You know. You know what Eric reminds me of a little bit. No, okay. maybe not. I was gonna say Freddie Mercury, but I can't remember what band he played for. <laughs> mm. Freddie sang for. Mm. Oh, Leon, do you know who's well, Freddie they, Mercury? They, they, they sung that uh, the We Were Rocky song. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just Bohemian. trying to remember. Rhapsody, what was the name I of the think. band? I can't. I don't remember. It was a pretty short name. Sorry, but cute. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Damn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, so listen, this was a good this was a good show. Uh Jason Me tried to uh trip up the nocturnal jungle cat towards the end of the show, but it ain't happening. This is prime mm. time for Leon Chen. So uh thank you everybody again. Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video, uh views from the vault .com to get your official merchandise from us for Jason, Leon, Pierre, Bree, and Eric. We're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code. VFTV15.
brought to you by VFTV.